guys it's Christina so I figured I would do an update on how I film everything because I get so many questions on YouTube and in real life from my friends as far as like what equipment I use what lights I use everything like that what do I edit my videos on so I wanted to show you guys really quickly today so don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter all of that you know twitch everything I will link it all down below so to start off uh, I use a ring light this is the best in my opinion for makeup you can also do soft boxes that's cool too it takes up more space I chose not to do that you can also do that though it's not bad it depends what you're shooting though you know if you want if you're shooting a like a bit of fashion you want like some depth and shadow in there like you know some very simple examples i'll like throw in here somewhere like of my friends posing on instagram or something where they just have shadow boxes you know and they just have like a shadow behind them you can buy those they're very cheap on amazon and they're actually very easy to transport and use uh ring lights they break if you you know put them in your suitcase or something so it's very hard to like for me to film if I'm traveling you know so I either have to bring a ring light and put it in my carry-on and make sure it's covered you know they have covers for them or some sort of other light that like a smaller one like which you know there's so many different ones so I will link a few other options for you guys down below but so I wanted to show you guys my ring light what it looks like don't mind that it's a little taped and then this is the tripod. It's from Manfrotto. It's really good. It's pricey, but it's worth it because my last tripod was like very unstable, very just not good. Okay. And I want to show you how bright this goes. So I just plugged it in. We're going to turn it on. So it's very, very bright, super bright. I love it. And it's also a white light. It's not warm or cool. So it's very neutral. And this is where I put the camera. I just put it on this little thing. Right now, I've got it on this tiny little tripod, which you can attach to anything it bends, and it's also really great for like taking with you vlogging. You can like just put it like this and hold it up. What's also great is that it has a viewfinder, so I can see myself while I'm filming. Even though it is far away, you know, it still does help to see if you're in the frame. The lighting is good, all of that stuff. So the memory card for that, I just inserted into this little thing because my MacBook is. USB-C only so you can just plug this in because it doesn't take USBs or SD cards So you just get this little connector and then I also invested in a little hard drive This was like 500 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. it doesn't have any moving parts So it's very good for like, you know, if you do drop it or something like that It's not gonna break on you and it's totally worth it saving your stuff on here So you don't waste your memory on the computer and this is what I use for editing. I just use Final Cut um, another question I have as far as filming, I use my Sony right now. The traffic is so loud, it's I can't, so sorry. But um, I've never used my phone, like people ask me if I ever use my phone, like I've never used my phone ever for even one video. I first, when I started on YouTube, I used to use my, just like my webcam on my laptop, my MacBook. But you know, like look, if you're super good, if you're just doing a funny video that has nothing to do with like precision like makeup you know you can get away with that so i'm not gonna sit here and tell you to go and buy all this expensive equipment because you don't need it like you really don't if you're coming across funny if that's what you're about like you do funny videos like you don't need expect like people are gonna hear you like you're fine so it just really depends what you're doing but of course if you're doing makeup videos of course you will need good lighting precision camera um the one i'm using right now is a sony I used to have a 5100 and it like kind of softens your skin, which I always get these questions. Um, <laughs> I see these comments on Instagram all the time where people are like, oh my god, she looks so good with no makeup. I'm like, girl, that's just a filter. Like, you know, I know people think a filter is like for a picture, but you can also have a filter for video. This camera has a filter for it. It just has to be focused on your face. So like, you know, if I just go to like this, it doesn't focus. And then it focuses on your face and it blurs it out. Do you see that? Like where it like goes smooth. You see the difference? Like I don't know if it's like if you can see it or not. But I can also change the saturation. That it's a very simple camera, is what I'm saying. Like the I used to use a Canon 60D and that one was a lot more complicated to use. This one is just like, you know, do you want it warmer, cooler? Do you want a background crisper or not? Like, do you want it blurred? Like, it's very simple. But the reason I use the Sony now, the one I use, it's 5,000 because I downgraded for 5,100. Like, it's another story, but you know, the other one broke and I had to go to Vicon in Anaheim and I was like, 
I have no time to order something else, so I just like got this from like a local camera store. So I downgraded. I want to go back to 5100. I think it's better. So I will link both of them down below. The 5000 obviously is cheaper because it's older. But in my opinion, the 5100 is super nice. It's very small. It's compact. You can take it with you vlogging. You can take it to places. It blurs your skin it makes you look good but the canon doesn't the canon is very precise when you want to get the very like macro shots like this one like yeah it'll zoom in and i guess you could do that too the canon i think is a little bit like more precise like i really don't even i don't even care a lot of people say they like the canon better but i really i don't care like i think they're about the same and canon is way more expensive so to me it's like you know what is the difference so i would just buy a sony so i will link it down below this one that i'm using i like the blurring filter you can also choose the levels it can be subtle medium or high so you don't have to be totally blurred this one is a like i said 5000 the 5100 picks up your face a lot better because this one i feel like it goes in and out sometimes it's very weird overall though it's a good camera you know you can choose your levels it's very compact also the files the main reason i stopped using my canon is because of the files the files were so big they both shoot in 4k so the canon the files were so big that my macbook could not handle it um if i just put the files from like one or two videos on there it couldn't handle it it was like i can't take it anymore like we're done like this is all i can handle from this camera from the sony i can put like 20 videos on my macbook and yeah it'll be like very full but you know i mean 20 versus like two which probably is like 30 really i should probably not plug my macbook like that it's a bad idea but you get the idea i'm saying like the files are still 4k but they they don't take a lot of space so with the canon it was stop filming this camera overheats that's one bad thing about it um the sony overheats maybe every like 20 minutes it stops recording so you have to wait like five ten minutes before you want to film again the canon it stops the 60d that i had it stops recording every 12 minutes just stops for no reason just stops so you have to remember it to be like oh there's no red button basically you get like 12 and 12 and then you're done like your memory card, like it's done like it's like oh it's full i'm like what you know how's it full already with this thing i can keep recording recording you know so yeah i just like this one better so i will link both of them for you guys canons are very good for photography in general so it depends what you do like i can't give you an advice um if you're a blogger you do photography a lot that's different you know if you do videos only for me i'm focused on videos for me like especially since the portrait mode came out and iphone like i'm all about it so i don't care i don't need even camera like i'm just like here take a picture of me with the portrait mode like i don't care so it looks good i would not want to waste the memory or the space or my time you know with a canon is what i'm saying but it's a very good camera for if you want to be like a professional photographer is what i'm saying so next point is editing so final cut is what i use now the first few years i use imovie mm -hmm. it's free so it's a good point to start and if you're not trying to invest in videos and all this stuff then just stick to imovie you don't need because final cut i think it's like 300 dollars like you know if you want to get it like i think it's a good investment do you need it it depends on how much work load you have i wish i would have gotten it sooner honestly because as many videos as i had to do it would have made my life easier because it takes a lot faster just the little things here and there like i can't even explain but like just like clicking here and there like like i and o like in and out like where you're starting off like it just you have to restart again it just it takes like it's so much faster and you know if you're processing one file like you're exporting it you can still work in another one i mean we can't do that so just overall like unless you're just doing the very minimum just a basic you're just doing like a basic little movie whatever iMovie I think that's a good way to go like it's free why would you spend the money right so I think that's good but if you really want to like make take it to the next level like they have more options in Final Cut and I never understood that though it's just like more professional it's like this looks so complicated I was like I don't know if I want to relearn it it's not relearning honestly it's very similar to iMovie it's almost like the same it's like a you can take them and overlap them but it just has more functions 
and it looks more complicated but it actually makes your life easier believe it or not so i'll link that below as well i think that's about it also i talked about this in my thanksgiving video but there's this site called ebates and no this is not sponsored but there's a site called ebates if you buy anything through them and it takes you basically to a third website uh so basically if you buy anything from apple like final cut for 300 dollars a macbook or whatever else you know camera even amazon like any they, they have so many websites on there basically you go just through ebates to another website and whatever else you buy you get a cut and you get that cash back because the website referred you so you get a cash back in turn so if you end up buying anything that expensive it's not like a ten dollar like pedicure stick or something it's like a three thousand dollar laptop you know like you like you would want to get some cash back like you know let's be real so I will link events for you guys down below if you want to check it out. And that is it. So I'm going to go. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.